let me show you how to add a newsletter sign up form on WordPress. So follow me to my desktop right now. Welcome to Job Form. My name is George, and I'm going to show you how to create a newsletter sign up form that we're going to add on WordPress. Now, don't worry, this is going to be straightforward and you'll be adding your sign up form in no time. Okay, so this is my job form dashboard. And the first thing I want to show you is the newsletter templates that we can add on WordPress. So let's go into templates, form templates. And in this section, we're going to search for newsletter. And there's a bunch of templates available that we can use. For example, there's a newsletter subscription form. So if you plan to add a newsletter sign up form that has a subscription, you can use this template, which is already pre-built. We can go ahead and modify it and use it right away. And this is another newsletter sign up form that you can start using right away. Just go ahead and preview it. You can actually test it here. And if you like it, go ahead and use the template and it'll take you to the builder where you can modify it. In this case, we're going to start from scratch and we're going to add some basic elements for this newsletter sign up form. Okay, so let's go into my forms. Let's go create a form. Let's start from scratch. We'll use classic form for this. And in this section, we're going to be adding our elements. So depending on the information that you're going to ask for is the elements that you're going to add. In this case, our newsletter, we're going to keep it really simple. We are going to ask for the full name, the email, and we'll be good to go. We're going to keep it simple, right? So we're going to say newsletter here. So it has the title and we're good to go. You can go ahead and beautify this. You can make it really nice, change the elements. You can make it more compact, which I'll be doing in this video. So let's go into advance. It's going to shrink this and let's shrink the other element. Here we go. OK, we have a more condensed form right here. OK, so next thing we have to do is go and publish, go to platforms and we are going to search for WordPress. OK, we have two options available. This one is via script and the other one is via code. So it's an embed code, depending if your WordPress version does allow you to use that one. In this case, let's go ahead and start with this one. Let's copy the code. Let's go to WordPress. And in WordPress, I'll be adding this to a page, but you can add this in your main page, a certain section of a post. It doesn't matter where, but you can add it with this script. Okay, so let's go ahead and add a new page and I'm going to name this newsletter. And in the block section, we're going to click on the plus button and we're going to use custom HTML. If you can't see it, just go ahead and type in HTML and you can find it right there. Now, in this section is where we're going to face our code that we just grabbed on JotForm. Okay. So once we're good to go, let's click outside. Let's go ahead and publish this. Here we go. And let's go ahead and preview this page. So we will now have a newsletter sign up form inside of our WordPress site. Now, the idea of this is that you can add it in any part of the sections of your WordPress site, even in post. So let me show you that. If we go to again to post, we'll add a new post. And in the post, you can go ahead and write whatever content you want to do on the post. And as you saw with the page, we just add a block here for the HTML and we can go ahead and add it right there. So it's super easy to add the newsletter sign up form on WordPress. Now, there's another way that we can do this via a plugin. So that means that if we go to plugins, add new and we search for jot form, there's a plugin that we can install and we can embed it via this section. OK, in this case, this is the plugin that you're going to need. You go ahead and install it, activate it. And once you do so, you'll find it over here in your installed plugins. So here we go. We got jar form online forms plugin installed. What does that mean? Well, if we go to pages, for example, and we add a new page again, let's name this newsletter two, and we have this option. Let's click on here and we have the option to select classic, select classic. And in this case, we have a little icon here that is the icon for job form. Let's click on it. And this is going to open up job form here and we can select any of the forms that we have available on job form. In this case, we've just created this one. This is a newsletter form. We're going to select it. We're going to continue. Here we go. It added the code. Let's go ahead and save this and let's go ahead and publish this and let's go ahead and test it out. And here we go. We now have the form available here via plugin. So you have two options available. You can add the script without the plugin or you can add it with the plugin and select the form that you want to use there, which is really useful when you have several forms and you want to add several forms in different sections of your WordPress site and do this constantly, then it's a good option to use the plugin. If not, the script is, works just fine. If you're just going to add it once and it's going to be on a certain page, which is a good idea. All right. Now, as I mentioned before, there's several templates available that you can start using with job form for your newsletter sign up form. 
So don't be afraid to build your own form and add it to WordPress, which you saw is super easy to do. Well, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell notification to get notified when new videos come out. And please let us know here in the comments what you think about the integration with JotForm and WordPress. And that's a wrap.